lot of you guys have also been asking how I tape off a whopper plopper tail. Usually I leave this piece alone anymore. Um, if I do, I'll cover it just on one side like that and then come back over and cover the other side just so that it doesn't touch that. But generally, more often than not, I leave it alone. And what I do, because you don't want this tail to spin while you're painting, um, the tail is connected to this little piece right here on the end. So what I'll do is I'll take a piece of tape and I'll angle it and then run it. Try and put it down as firm as I can. Run it to the other edge where they meet and then you can just overlap. And what that does is that holds that in place to where that's not going to move while you're painting. Pretty easy, quick tip, just for you. Okay, we are over at the finishing desk and if you guys came in the first part of this video for tips and tricks, thanks for watching all the way to this point. And this is how it turned out. Now that it's finished, it's getting ready to go to clear coat. Let me pull it off of here for just a second so that you guys can see what's going on with this bait. And just uh, adding the netting and using a little random piece of stencil or any type of rough cut board you can make some pretty decent lines with your airbrush. Yes, there's two of them. So there's that. I hope you enjoyed that part of the video. Um, before we get to the other three here, um, I want to give a shout out to TJ Hatfield. He sent uh, a couple of beautiful gifts in the mail to me as a thanks. And look at the detail he puts into this work, you guys. This is some really, really good painting. So if you get the chance, check out his work, TJ Hatfield. He's on Facebook. TJ's Custom Baits, I believe, is what it is. I think. And this one. Very very cool. Thank you so much, TJ, for those. Okay, the finished product of how this came out with that brand new formula from KBS. It's the belly segments on this. We kept it very natural, very normal. Didn't do a whole lot of crazy stuff except for with the, um, the wings, which mimic that lacing in the wings that you would see naturally and put a couple of segments in this insect in the cicada a little bit of shading in the head and the pieces and that is how it turned out folks super happy with that also have a double prop now i have fished these and they're really really good this is a duo replica a lot of you guys ask how we get the clear coat on this. I tape both of the props off. I don't take them off the bait. I just tape them off uh, to where there's not going to be any clear coat that gets on them. And then I brush with a flat artist brush that clear coat on. And if you do thin, even layers, uh, you can hang from one side and then hang from the other side after about 20, 30 minutes and you won't get that run or drip on your bait. Last but not least, here is just a little bass. Now this is um, the, the depths version of this normally comes with, and most of the replicas do too. Um, these particular ones did not, but they normally come with a prop on the end of that as well. There's a, an assembly that goes on this, this depths replica. So excited to be fishing this. Just a little bass, spawning bass. You know, they get the red dot and their tails get a little bit bloody this time of year. 
And that is all the news. It's fit to print once more. TJ, thank you so much for these gorgeous baits. Really, really good work on that. Super excited to put these into my collector's box. Your cicada with that new formula KBS. Very happy with everything that's been coming out. And the tips and tricks for the day, showing you guys how I do freehand lines on the gills. This is that dirty gill, getting ready to go to clear coat once I take the tape off. And I showed you how I tape off the tail on a whopper plopper. You guys take care. Thanks for the view. I appreciate it. I hope I was able to teach you a couple of things today. I hope I was able to showcase some different work. If you guys have stuff that you want me to show off, you're proud of your work and you want it featured here on the video, by all means, send some stuff in. Now, I didn't ask him to send these in. I just got a message from him, so um, I really appreciate it. This is gorgeous stuff. I'm blown, absolutely blown away by how phenomenal your work is. You guys take care. We'll see you later. Happy casting from Jekyll Bates.